All right, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> welcome to the first episode of The Road to Monte Cassino. Today, we're going to be playing Companies of Heroes 3, the pre-alpha preview. So there's a lot of pre's, so it's a very early state of the game. But we're going to get an insight into the campaign map of Italy here. And then I am a BNB Dutchman, I'm a co to Fredwoman, and I'll be uh, your guide through this journey. And I'll be uh, yeah, giving feedback on what I see in the game and my thoughts. I'm just gonna yeah, see what, what's in the what's in the game uh, up until this point. So uh, let's get into it. So I already loaded up. Uh, we just landed near Naples. We have Naples under our control, and from Naples we have to push onwards to Monte Cassino. And uh, we're gonna have a battle plan to choose here. So we're either gonna get an American plan, which holds the U.S. Airborne Company, Special Op Company, and one naval destroyer with some extra munitions. Uh, we got the British plan, where it's a British armor company, uh, Indian artillery company, two naval destroyers, and some bonus resource. And then we got the combined plan, which holds the U UK armored company with the anti armor detachment, US airborne company with engineer detachment, and bonus targeting manpower and partisan relations. So I don't want to. I already tried this one a little bit, so now I'm gonna go with the combined plan just to see uh, what, what that holds. So this is what uh, we have. So first we're gonna have a little bit of tutorial here, which will just include a couple turns, will guide us through. So here we have our airborne company, which we're probably gonna have to move up. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got Naples, a couple of the detachments. Now we are going to attack here. This is a Grenadier detachment. Grenadier detachment. So this is not a full company, but rather something a company can use. So you've got to take that in mind. Anything else I have to do? To destroy it. Destroyers can do some uh, bombarding, and the green line there is the range, so a lot of range. Apparently, I have to click on the Grenadier detachments from the German. Let's see what happens. Four shells get launched, and the entire detachment is gone. Right, let's push it some extra ruins. Can push it. Uh, UK Air Forces, we can push US Forces. So you get your companies, so two companies for each faction, and then we have detachments, which are seven detachments in total. Okay. We're going to have to get a rifle detachment provided by the US Forces. And it's a turn based campaign, so after each turn. Now the uh, axes are having their turn. Naples is getting bombed. It's not a good idea. We stop bombing Naples. Not a fan of that. Rifle squad awaiting orders. All right, day two. I'm just quickly hopping to the settings. Resolution is not correct. All right, a rifle detachment has to move up. This is a bad idea, but this is a HMG detachment. It's set up. Oh. We lost half our detachment here. 
And here comes the armor company from the British. Nice. Expression in status effect indicated by the yellow triangle icon. The effect temporarily removes two movement points and decreases attack potential. These effects last until the end of the day and can stack, pending the detachment or company in place. So if you want to defend a certain spot, you can just get yourself an MG detachment set up somewhere, which is a fun idea. Alright. So we can camouflage in forests. Town, forests, hills provide defensive bonuses, roads provide more efficient map movement, beaches and mountains allow specialized movement. Units in forest terrain at the beginning of the day are active when keeping camouflage. Well, there goes the uh, MG detachment from the Germans. This is a medic detachment. Let's move up the airborne. Gonna attack, and because the medic detachment is in the neighborhood now, we can use that so we can get two detachments in. Seems like he has some kind of panzer, panzer support. But let's hop into the first uh, RTS mission. So you got your part where you just play on the campaign map, and then you got your part where you yeah, zoom in and, and play those actual fights that we know from Code 2 and Code 1. So it's kind of, I mean, it reminds us a lot of uh, Total War. Personally, I'm a big fan of how they're tackling it. So let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below about the new campaign system. We've got a couple of tips here as well. Standard tips, let's click and drag. But a unit cap as usual and there's no two new things which are important and those are over here we've got the access to tactical pause so this is very handy for new players or player who just want to uh, chill sit back plan everything out uh, a guy like me who has played uh, company of heroes 2 at uh, quite a high level um yeah tactical pause is, is not really needed because but the movements I do are fast enough to uh, keep up with the with the pace of the game. But we're going to check it out anyway. And then uh, this one is what I'm excited for. Something we saw in Code 1 and Code 2 is that garrisons can be quite strong. And especially in Company Pills 2, in the later community-made maps, there were almost uh, no garrisons or no really big garrisons. Because they would just, uh, once you capture goes and it just gives you such an advantage it was uh, tough tough uh, to get your opponent out of a garrison but here we got a new mechanic to get someone out of a garrison it's called breach for breaching a garrison structure will evict the defending squad the breaching squad will remain in the target garrison so i'm really curious to see how that's going to work in pvp i've already tried it a couple of times huh, in the campaign and in the skirmishes but I'm uh, really curious to see how it's going to work in P3. First, let's take this uh, Italian airfield. Currently occupied by the Germans. We are starting over here, it seems. Let's see what we have. Migliano airfield. Alright. Capture the airfield. Sounds good. Okay. Control tower seems to be the main objective. Critical communication center. Sounds about right. All right. Jerry's preventing forward scouts from reporting in. Take out the enemies. So scout squad. You got paratroopers. We got some rifle and squad. But it's interesting because these guys have a grenade. Let's these guys down. have access to grenade as well. With only 
the rifle in here know how to breach. So it's probably going to be that not every unit can breach. So we got a house, let's see how this works out. Okay, so they're closing in to breach the building. Still three enemies inside. No enemies inside anymore, so uh, definitely a successful breach. And they automatically go into the building as well. Oh, and you convert it to a forward barracks. So that's something uh, more out of Co. 1. Let's uh, try and support here. Both mechanics still here. Captured the point. What's this? Extra fuel. Grab the damn thing. You can grab. Get on that there are still some enemy forces left on the base. Oh Take God. control of command buildings, and they'll be forced to retreat. But careful, they'll put up a fight. Oh, we got some weapons. Uh, Zoo Care and an LMG. Let's get to it, fellas. Okay, one the LMG, one group of Zoo Care. Someone grab that bazooka. More okay, fuel over here. Our scouts tell us the enemy is storing sensitive information on this base. Find those documents and prevent them from being destroyed. Let's take a look at our base for a second here. We can upgrade the air support sensor. Let's make it pushes an L2 grasshopper recon plane. Unlocks the mechanized. For mechanized stuff. For the motor pool. Alright. And the infantry support center. We also have a medical station, and here we can get a scout squad and the engineer squad. Let's see, this is the weapon support center, which has heavy machine gun. No, fighting, fighting. Oh. Let's get moving. Support, support, boys. Play. Cover. Take some cover. No, airstrike. Everything got suppressed, except the boys in the building. That's it. They're all dead. All right, that's uh, we were, we were lo we're looking here. Uh, Work support center, heavy machine gun team, bazooka squad, and the sniper. All right, we've got another building, which is the standard barracks, rifleman squad, Willie's MP Jeep with a 30 cal. Let's check out how the Jeep looks like. This is the Barlight machine gun. Globally equips all riflemen squad with one burning automatic rifle. Well, that sounds very strong to me. Let's get that as well. And we want a uh, motor pool. So let's unlock. Mechanized? Whereas any support center upgrade. Okay, any support center. What's this? Command cheap. That increases side attacks, enemy movement, and bolsters common performance of nearby infantry squads. Alright. Got a lot of infantry, so let's get it. Now we also have from our detachments, it shows up on the right hand side. So we got a British medical detachment. Let's call that in as well. And it's an ugly as looking truck, it seems. Let's see what we can do with that. Alright. Yes, right. The upgrades, are upgrades are completed, which means they all have a bar now. Should make them quite strong. Oh, we can uh, actually reinforce from this vehicle. That's pretty nice. Everyone is healed up. Okay, what's our next objective? Secure the intel before it is destroyed. Intel is over here. So we need to push into the city over there. Alright, let's do that. Ready for deployment, sir. Come on, let's go. Go. All day. Looks like we'll be Not working for a little. We're all here, sir. We've got a whole bunch of manpower still as well. Let's 
make that mode of pool. Casualty support center. Uses infantry upkeep at 50%. Demolitions package. Infantry reserves. Ah, okay. I don't have a machine gun as well. Oh, I've got some enemies over here. We're locked and loaded. Double time, soldiers. No, it's not what I clicked. On our way, sir. Good job, fellas. We're up, man. Get ready. What's the mission? Reference that point. Good job, man. This fight's extraordinary. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like I dodged it. So these scout troops are the fastest at capturing points. Well, I'm gonna use them to capture the point. Oh, I can just reinforce on the battlefield. So we've got that medic truck. Infinite manpower. That's fine. And G team. Some view up as well. This fight seems to last pretty long to me. And models die at a very low health. While in KOTU, you would like lose a, could lose a model quite fast. Depending on what type of weapon was shooting at it. Like um, close quarter weapons like uh, SDGs and MP40s did more like general damage without a high s sniping capability of a model. But if you had like G43. Shooting at you, that that would mean you had a high chance of losing the model. No, no, the stick gun. Let's get a stick gun on there. Engine damage. You know, take him out. Some boys in cover there. Assault. Tactical point is being captured. Oh, we're good on MG here. What's in there? Oh, there's a sniper as well. Mortar there. Let's get rid of that mortar. Capture some of the stuff here. Oh, our jeep got destroyed. Unfortunate. Out the mortar. Frequency. Oh, we got frequency upgrades apparently. Throws a knife at the enemy infantry target for a silent one hit kill. Wait, what's this kind of unit? The SSF Commando Squad. Elite infantry armed with M1 carbons and M15 wide pressurized grenades can be upgraded with bazookas or M1921 light machine guns. Oh. Squad gains the ability to place a high explosive time temperature. So, Alright, let's get the. Throw a knife. Let's try and use this. Can we get some knife throwing action? Oh, they're already going to die. Oh, he's throwing a knife. Some LMGs. Alright. Keep moving up. Is there anything you can build in the meantime? Uh, so, this is our motor pool. We've got access to the Chaffee Light Tanks. Hello. He got away. Greyhound. And then it's a tank and team. Alright, let's get one of everything. Here's a rebel wind that we can steal. Sounds like a fun idea. Come 
These guys can get one extra model. So we've got a little cells with a little grey out, which can be upgraded with Intermountain MG for 50. Alright. Don't have enough munitions yet though. Getting peppered at the moment by the plane. Do we win this fight? Do I need some more to help you? Oh, the mortar is shooting me. You in range? Throw a grenade, see how strong it is. Boom! superiority. That sounds good. Sounds very American as well. Backwards, backwards. Heal up. He's getting some healing. Quick caption. So let's uh, move these guys towards the rebel wind. Notice there were enemies. Oh no, we lost it. Let's build an engineer squad. We have to recapture that. Is it me, or does it take a very long time to kill infantry? Pepper by an MG over here. I'm pinned. Let's retreat back to the base. For some reason, you guys are not healing up. Right, let's move forward. So we can, uh, find a way to deal with that. MG air. Oh god damn it! Airstrike incoming! Air -ba -ba. Oh, was a quite the effective grenade. What's the mission? Capture our teammate, we might need it. Get, it get in the building, let's see some, let's get some vision. Scouts in the building. Alright, any team going over there? Gonna be using a mortar. Steal the toast first. Oh, that's an enemy weapon. Oh, there's more stuff here.
tank is uh, still <laughs> struggling to do anything. Get some more tanks. More light tanks. Boom. Got resources, might as well use them, right? Oh, these look strong. One of these. One's going to be as good. And we got nice the G's. I only threw a grenade. Oh, we lost the rifleman squad over here. Maybe let's take this one out first. Is it me or is there not any pickup icon? that as well. What was shooting them then? The Alright, we need some new infantry as well. Burp, burp, burp. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. And I watch this squad. Alright, lost another unit. Our Panzer Grenadiers are killing everything a lot. There's a sniper. That's probably what took everything out. Oh yeah, he just took out another squad. Sniper. Which we apparently can't hit. Oh, no, there's a B4. Backwards. Is he good? Forward. More infantry boys. We've got a whole bunch of tanks. Infantry support. Is it me or do these things just take a very long time to kill anything? Can you capture this thing in here? Times. Why are you not shooting in the sniper? They'll think twice about attacking us now that we have one of their own flak tanks on our side. Only managed to get one of the things. Get the sniper. Get the sniper. I think we need some engineers for repairs. Tank just got taken out. Blanket around the rear. Get on the rear. Blanket forwards. Got it. Oh! Pack and watching on. Take that damn you guys capture the points. Get this India vehicle to the front. Engineers to the front. Combat engineers on the line. These shuffle light tanks are taking a heavy beating. It's taking quite a long time to kill an ATV. Oh, 
Uh, I'm getting suppressed. Oh, yeah, then you to smoke. Yeah. Do you smoke? Do you smoke? You guys have smoke. Where are you? Yes, there's still a uh, weapon drop, so once you upgrade something, you can also lose it. Something that not everyone is a fan of. So it's uh, another RNG thing that might happen. Alright, let's put the uh, MG in the building. Seems like a good idea. Crew another AT gun. Need some come on check. Let's roll, man. Get those guns ready. Get ready. Stop mucking about. We're up. Keep that formation tight. Oh, in the rear. Sneak attack. Prepare for the counter attack while well, we are preparing. Hey, you watch that one. Okay, I swear, I clicked on this one. Okay, they're taking cover instead of preparing. So it's the Z button. Or are they repairing? There's no repair animation. It's not really clear. How does repair animation? Destroy the tanks patrolling around the control tower. Wait. Weapon crew, you're with me. Let's get on to here. Where is this vehicle? Oh, got him. Well, that's victory, ladies and gentlemen. Hard fought fight. It was Pondergrund DS. Uh, the air base is ours. Well done, men. It's Pondergrund be using a sniper that I didn't notice took out so many units. That's it. The battle is ours. That's the enemy company moving out. It's retreating to Caserta. Fine plan. Well executed, Commander. The airfield is under allied control. Are we capture the Migliano airfield. Very nice.
With the troops well supplied via the port, the Winter Line will fall in no time. Assuming Buckram's men can stick to the damn plan, of course. We see some Thegans. We see Monte flats. Casino is ripe for the taking. Hans My boys are ready north. to punch a hole through the Winter Line on your command. Special Ops reporting in, Commander. We've made contact with the local partisan resistance. Stand by for intel from their network any day now. We need to break the winter line. Got a long road ahead of us to Monte Cassino. So busy with the tutorial. Oh, we got some skills. All right, let's check this out. Company skills: paratrooper, air drop, smoke bombing one. P-47 rocket strike, carpet bombing one, munition supply, HPG supply, there's passives, take and hold or efficient air power, there's a whole bunch of upgrades in here as well, in this unit, the M18 Hellcat, the M3 armored personnel carrier, which can be upgraded with that famous M45 quad mount, a uh, bulldozer Sherman, uh, Captain Revenue, which can be upgraded with Thompson's. Oh, Alright, I want these extra units to be at my disposal. I also want to be able to uh, get some prep troopers. And let's get some coins. Good. And next time we'll get that carpet bombing one. Any passive here. Infantry neutralize points 50% faster. And capture points 33% faster. That sounds quite strong to me. Because the more points you get, the more resources you have. No? Manage airfield? Ooh. You can get Grasshopper, which is a recon. You can get the P47 Thunderbolt, Strafe Run, and the Dive Point Air Superiority Operation. Power drop, supply drop, air bridge operation, and the B25 Mitchell for bombing run, incendiary run, smoke run. Let's get that B47. We've got some more, so let's get that Mitchell as well. So they're gonna take one day and two days to get here. Alright. So let's go to the next day. Mortar squad is moving up, it seems. And the uh, scout company is falling back. 2 2 1. Combat unit ready for action. We must stay vigilant. An enemy company is threatening to take the airfield. Is that so? What would happen? That would. Bombard you with some artillery. Ooh, it's gone. Brilliant. Alright, can I attack this one? Ooh, almost gone. Very little health left. Alright. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to uh, end our first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and played through the entire tutorial sequence and we will continue this uh, tomorrow with a new episode. I want to thank you all for watching and if you have any comments or any questions feel free to put them down below and I'm, uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about um, yeah, the, the new campaign uh, map, about Company Fields 3 in general, about all the footage you saw. Are you guys on a hype train or are you guys disappointed so far? Um, and after all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It really helps. Uh, appreciate it a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Angry Dutchman out.